There's some locations and monuments that just have a uniquely terrible vibe to them. And with the recent YouTube trends surrounding conspiracies, everyone is now familiar with your Bohemian Groves and your Denver airports. But what I think is pretty interesting and deserves a closer look is what exactly is going down at the Hoover Dam. Now, the Hoover Dam is obviously far more famous than the Denver airport or the Grove, so that invites the question as to why nobody has heard anything about these weird shenanigans, compounded with the fact that very recently some unusual findings have come from the region, with bodies being recovered from the dam on the 15th and a seemingly unrelated explosion on the 19th. Okay, so what is so special about the Hoover Dam? I'll start off with the most damning evidence first, and get progressively more schizo as I go along. There's these two 30-foot tall angel statues guarding the entrance of the dam. These kinds of biblical illusions are nothing out of the ordinary for such a monument, but consider this plaque. This guy here appears to be doing a pose that almost resembles the Baphomet, against the inscription, They died to make the desert bloom. Now, this is purportedly referencing the 100 or so people who died building the dam, but there are a few alternative interpretations you could take from it. Take a $50 bill, something entirely innocuous that you use from day to day. Now, fold it in the shape of a pentagram and look at that. It isn't really the Hoover Dam, but it definitely resembles a dam. Now, that is certainly at least a little bit suspicious, right? Aren't you at least a little bit curious? There, there's no way that this is coincidental. It's downright improbable. Now, you've probably picked up on the kind of conspiracy this one is, and you're probably sitting there rolling your eyes to yourself thinking, Oh, look, it's the Satanists again. And I'm with you, making the bad guys Satanists is a bit of a cop-out, but let me remind you of the three main types of Satanists. There's your garden variety edgelord, the kind who is just a contrarian looking for an aesthetic, and the pretentious philosophizing Satanist who is always going off on some stupid thing about free will and self-determination. But the third and most important kind is your little St. James Island people. There's not many funny quips to be made about them. With this information in mind, let's look at some of the people who've worked on the Hoover Dam over the years. There's Neil Falls, a man suspected of murdering as many or more than eight people who worked at the dam for eight years. Eight people, eight years. They're not even trying to hide it at this point. 88. You know what the eighth letter of the alphabet is, right? H. It's HH. You know what that stands for? In May of 2015, a massive FC Köln logo was projected onto the Hoover Dam. For a week straight, a goat was projected onto the Hoover Dam. Why would they do this? What reason could they possibly have for doing this? The only plausible reason is obvious. You know what it is? I know what it is. First the HH, first the Satanists, now a German goat. It's just a coincidence, I hear you saying. Consider what you're thinking right now. The probability of this many coincidences coinciding. It's ridiculous. Something about this dam is not right. Let's take into account the nearby Boulder City. It's a fairly unremarkable little town, aside from its historical value in building the dam. The Boulder Dam Hotel, however, is anything but ordinary. As a matter of fact, there's a ghost there. People have numerous accounts of paranormal activity going down within that hotel, until it eventually got to the point where employees had to be told specifically to avoid discussing their paranormal experiences. Now, when I'm in a hotel, the employees don't really seem to have much of a chain of command. That is to say, it's as though they're operating independently of one another. Can you imagine how influential someone would have to be to be able to tell hotel employees not to talk about something? Not to exercise their First Amendment rights? And of all things they can't talk about, something as silly as ghosts? It's almost as if some powerful people will be put in jeopardy if the truth about the hauntings was revealed. You know what prominently features Boulder City? You know what prominently features the Hoover Dam? That's right. It's deeper than you could have ever anticipated. The Hoover Dam is a central plot point in Fallout New Vegas, and you can destroy it. That's pretty interesting. We all know that the game was made by Obsidian Entertainment, but the publisher was none other than Bethesda. You know what Bethesda will be rolling out before long? Starfield. A game that takes place in a universe where two fictional superstates, the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective, are locked in a war. Now, is it just me, or does that happen to sound a bit globalist to you? First the Hoover Dam goes, and then a one-world government takes control. Speaking of the dam destruction in the media, the 2015 San Andreas film features the Hoover Dam extensively, with the dam being destroyed at the beginning of the movie. You know what else features even more dam destruction? An episode of Mike Tyson's Unsolved Mysteries. Predictive programming at its finest right there. All of this is clearly a cause for alarm. 
but it is especially relevant to the contemporary present day right now, because we're only just starting to unveil the extent of it. And that explosion on July 19th, although nobody was hurt, raises a few more questions. Equipment failure was the official reason given to the blast, with the transformer fire being the initial cause. Could a transformer fire realistically make that much smoke? We've seen transformers explode before, and they've never made anything close to the degree of smoke we saw there. I'd say with a discrepancy like this, there's a decent chance the whole thing will just be memory hold. So if I were you, I'd save what I could right now. There's just no telling what the actual source of the fire might have been. And the body parts in Lake Mead. Three have been found so far, all under mysterious circumstances. But the feds already have a few explanations written off on these people. Take Body in Barrel was casino boss who angered Las Vegas mob, for instance. Regardless of whether or not it's true, this does bring up an interesting idea. It's the 1970s, the 1980s, and they've got some fairly obscure individuals they could do away with, but don't have any means of destroying the body. So dump them into one of the deepest lakes in the United States and hope for the best. So there you have it. I don't like the Hoover Dan. It makes me nervous. Just the way the name sounds phonetically has a spooky aura to it. What's more than likely is that it's just a perfectly innocuous dam, and Lake Mead holds no secrets. But it certainly does not give off the same vibe as any other ordinary dam.